Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Welcome back to this uh, 2019 edition of Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition walkthrough. This is part number 10, and we're here to do more of this walkthrough. So, um, so in the last part, we were doing a tutorial on creating a budget for you know Microsoft My 2004. We'll be doing the next tutorial, um, I don't know what the next tutorial was on, because I haven't even done a part in like five days. Well, let's just try to log in. Here we go. Log into my account. There we go. Now let's wait for me to log on. Also, yes, the, the basement has been changed a bit. Like, look at this, see? Something has been changed right here. I don't even know why, but it was really interesting to see that happen. I wonder if those cassettes are still there, so that way I could try to check and see if I could try to do another cassette recording. Well, we got the Windows XP startup sound now. So, yeah, I'm very glad. Alright, let's see. I have to, like, try to... Let's see, um, it's logging me on pretty good today. Like, look at that. So yeah, by the way, today is Friday. I am very glad that the weekend is going to be here soon. And, yeah, I am very excited. Seriously, I am very excited. Oh, look at that. I think it just came there, this desktop background. Also, yes, I haven't done a part of my Windows XP Home Edition walkthrough, you know, the 2019 edition of it. I haven't done a part of this in, like, five days. Let's hope I just try to do this more often. We don't want to wait this long for the computer to log me in because the computer gets pretty slow sometimes. So let's just pause the recording. We'll be right back, folks. Well, viewers, we're back now. Anyway, it's time for us to get ready. So, yeah, I had to take some minutes. So I looked, I checked on some cassettes and see. I mean, the cassettes were there. So anyway, it's finally time. Let's go to local disk C. Program Files, Microsoft Money, Media, AV Help, and then we'll go to 11RI. So let's take a look and watch the video. Alright, here we go. Create an investment account. We got our quarterly statement in the mail today from our broker, Ferguson and Bardell. How do we handle this in Microsoft Money? We need to set up a separate investment account for each statement we get. So let's create one for Ferguson and Bardell. It'll hold all the individual investments we have with them, like the stocks and mutual funds. So we create one investment account for each broker we work with, and then we track our individual investments within that account. That's right. Let's create the new account together. Starting on the Accounts and Bills menu, let's click Account Setup. Okay. Now we choose Add a New Account. We type the broker's name here... Ferguson and Bardell. Choose Investment Account. Let's call it Ferguson and Bardell Investment to distinguish it from our retirement account there. Right. That's important for keeping our tax information straight. And we'll add our investments later. Okay. So now we need to enter the total amount we have invested with this broker. What does the statement say? Uh, here we go. $23,936. Of course, this is probably already out of date, but an estimate is all we need here. Money will correct the balance for us later when we add each investment. I'm stuck on this one. We have cash in our account with Ferguson and Bardell? Yeah, almost all investment accounts have at least some cash transactions. Like when we deposit a check or when investments pay a dividend. Money sets up a special cash transactions section for these activities. Our statement says we have $125 in our cash account. Well, that was easy. Wait a minute. Are the funds in our money market also considered a cash account? No. We'll put our money market in as its own investment when we're ready to do that. Okay. 
So you click finish, and now here's our account. To see any cash-related activity, we'd click cash transactions. But why is our account empty? Uh, because it's brand new, and we haven't added any of our individual investments yet. When we're ready, we can click here to add them. That explains that. That pretty much explains what they were saying. This was a short one. That was create an investment account. See that? Create an investment account. So, yeah, the next tutorial, um, it'll be in the next part, and this one will be called balance an account to a paper statement. And that will be used in the next part. That will be on part 11 of the walkthrough. And I believe this part was the shortest one to do. So, yeah, this part was short. And it was the shortest of them all in this version of the walkthrough. So, yeah. Stay tuned next time for part 11, which in case it's on the, uh, you know, the balance and account to a paper statement tutorial stuff. So, yeah. See you guys next time. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. See you guys next time. Bye, everybody.